This is LA Live from Los Angeles, welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. We're all about manifestation, transformation, and breakthroughs. It's time to claim your birthright of prosperity, vitality, and love. So grab your tea or coffee because together we're awakening the world. May you live your truth. Are you ready to own an investment that has an endless supply? Well, if you do, you definitely want to listen to this podcast. Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Podcast. We come together each day to know the truth, live on spiritual principle, and align with universal law. We truly believe that somebody awakens, they have a gift and message to bring to the world, and together we're awakening the world. Our mission is to awaken a billion people, and how I know that we will fulfill upon that is by developing world-renowned spiritual entrepreneurs, spiritual coaches, spiritual practitioners, law of attraction ministers, and yes, doctors of divinity. You heard me right. Yeah, we have people lining up for it. Are you kidding? So let's do this. We're on the money breakthrough. We are on 12 of 12, you guys. This is it. This is it. We've done so many great conversations around money breakthrough. I hope that you are just experiencing so many things. We've gone through everything from supply and demand to understanding consciousness, to understanding your subconscious, to understanding how to create your inner circle back and forward all over the place. And I'd love to know, what breakthroughs you've had. If you could DM me or tag me in Instagram or on Facebook, or you can slide it into my DMs, whatever you want. I want to hear, we want to hear your money breakthroughs because it's super important. We learn from one another. And I'm telling you that the biggest money breakthroughs I've had is witnessing my girlfriends, my extraordinary, amazing, uh, girlfriends have breakthroughs, watching them have their first hundred thousand dollar months and being like, what? I don't even know that's possible. Right. And then all of a sudden you do have a hundred thousand dollar a month, right? It's important to understand that you sharing your breakthroughs, you sharing your wins helps one other person on this planet. And that trickles into a butterfly effect. Okay. So today we're talking about money breakthrough on 12 of 12. And the title of today's podcast is the greatest investment, you, your consciousness, right? The greatest investment you. So if you're ready to own an investment that has an endless supply, this podcast is for you, right? If you're ready to be the owner of a multi-billion dollar investment, that's the possibility. That's the potential of a strong consciousness of understanding and innovating and knowing the truth of who you are. So just sharing a little bit about my, my journey, my journey into investing in my own consciousness. So I remember when I was in my twenties, actually had someone give me a gift of going to landmark forum and it was great. I went, um, I got a lot out of it. In fact, what I got was making everyone else wrong. Kind of one of those spiritual elite things. Like I'm starting to have my, you know, I know everything and therefore I'm going to make everyone wrong. Right. But the point is, is that I actually didn't get much out of it. And the reason why I think I didn't was because I didn't pay for it. And it's really interesting because I find that now we've tried different things. We've tried giving people scholarships um, into society. And every last time I've done that, it doesn't work. People don't show up 100% because when you pay for things, you got skin in the game and you actually get a lot out of it. So as I went along in my 20s, I began to invest my own money. Yes, I invested of course, in tons of books, I invested in seminars, in leadership programs, in coaching, in spiritual advancement. I actually ended up investing, um, having, I worked with a shaman that I would fly in, not any ayahuasca or anything like that, just straight understanding metaphysics and energy and all the different work with that. I invested in, of course, tons and tons and tons of leadership programs. Um, I invested in becoming a Kundalini teacher. I invested in subconscious reprogramming techniques. I've invested in obviously becoming a spiritual practitioner. I invested in becoming a law of attraction minister. I invested in becoming a doctor of divinity. I've invested in training and coaching with seven figure coaches. I've invested with um, going to Tony Robbins events and other miscellaneous things from David data events to you know, going on retreats with people to meditation things, you name it. I've spent well over $250,000 on my own consciousness, not to mention the tons and tons of hours that I've put into it. I've invested, of course, you know, probably, I don't even know. I have never even calculated how many hours I've put into meditation and my spiritual practice. But what I know for sure is that every time I have ever invested in anything that advances my consciousness, it always comes back exponentially. 
any time that I've invested in my own consciousness and expanding my consciousness and my mindset or skill set, it has always come back exponentially. So tell me, is there one investment that has always come back exponentially, right? Maybe what? It's a 4% gain. It's an 8% gain. Maybe if it's really good, it could be like 12 to 20%. If it's in the stock market, that's like over the top, right? Well, I would say that investing in my consciousness has always come back at least tenfold. What percentage is that, right? It's not even a hundred percent. Is that a thousand percent, right? Is what is the return on your investment? The ROI return on investment is exponential every last time when I've put it into my own consciousness. And the coolest thing about our industry, you guys, I mean, the coolest thing is I have a, you know, a lot of girlfriends that are coaches and things, and I will invest in their programs because them or someone, another friend of mine will invest in my program, right? So there's always a way. And every time I have invested in anything, it comes back exponentially. And what I know is that this is the law. It's the law. So we have to take a look at what is the cost of not investing? What would be the cost? Let's just say today, you know, I'm in my late forties. Imagine that I hadn't done my inner work. Imagine that I hadn't done my trauma work. Imagine that I still was what I consider I was a hot mess, right? What if I was still codependent? What would be the cost of my sanity? What would be the cost of my happiness? What would be the cost of my health if I was getting upset every day of the week? What would be the cost of my life if I was upset and I couldn't show up to, to coach? I couldn't show up to even build a business if I hadn't done my inner work, right? What's the cost? Millions upon millions of dollars? the cost of not having a life that you love, the cost of not being able to have my son witness his mother become an extraordinary and having that role model for him. What's the cost of not investing in yourself? And I really want you to get that. Like if you don't overcome the codependency, if you don't overcome, you know, not loving yourself, if you don't overcome and you end up having your parents transition before you can actually heal and be at peace with everybody in your life. What's the cost of that? Right? Recently, I have so many friends that are into Bitcoin and, and I'm not, I'm not obviously I'm for it from a technology perspective, a thousand percent, but as far as an investment perspective, um, you know, I'm not educated enough to make that that choice, but it has never really added up to me because isn't I've always been like, isn't that the point of Bitcoin is to have it be something that is is just a stable thing that actually makes it so it can't be manipulated by a few people on the planet. Right. And now they're doing investments in Bitcoin. I'm like, oh, cool. Like if that speaks to people, that's fine. But recently it's taken a big, um, a big uh, hit, right. Went down. I don't know how much exactly, but I have a lot of friends in it. And this is my litmus test. Okay. If you lost all of your investments, let's just say you're like, I don't have any investments. What are you talking about? Like, let's just pretend, let's pretend that you, invested money into real estate or into Bitcoin or into whatever, right? And let's just pretend for a minute that you lost the entire investment, that the Bitcoin that you went into went away or the real estate, whatever, you lost it all because the whole market went upside down. You couldn't pay the mortgage and you had to let it go. The litmus test for me is if you lost all of your investments tomorrow, would you regret the investment? Meaning that say some of my friends that are into Bitcoin, they actually truly love Bitcoin. They like the conversation around it. They learn about it. They learn about technology. They learn whatever. And maybe they would say, even if I lost all Bitcoin, I wouldn't regret it because I love the process of investing in Bitcoin. Whereas the next person would be like, I would be so bummed because I didn't really care about Bitcoin because I just invested because I thought it was a good investment. But if I lost all my money, then I'd be really bummed, right? Or someone who invests in real estate might be like, no, I don't regret it because I understand real estate now. And I can go out in any market, whether it's the top of the market or the bottom of the market, and I can invest again and I can make money because I, I love the conversation and the growth of investing in real estate, right? So the litmus test for you is where are you putting your time and energy and money? And if you lost all the things, would it advance you in your own consciousness, right? 
And so whether you are, you know, you're probably, if you're listening to this podcast, look, you've had a spiritual calling and you care a lot about your spiritual development and you probably are a spiritual coach at some level. And you care about being able to become the best coach you can be. You care about making an impact in the world. And so we have to ask ourselves, right? What is the best investment for you to make? Would it be in being Bitcoin? Would it be in real estate? Or would it be in your own consciousness to become the embodiment? Because whether money comes and goes, no one can take away my consciousness. No one can take away my ability to recreate money at any point in time because I'm able because I can show up consistently, because I'm not stopped by little things in life, because I've done my inner work and I am a spiritual badass. I'm a Jedi, right? I'm a spiritual warrior because I've invested in my consciousness. No one can take that away from me. Not even at the end of this life, I get to take this consciousness. And so I know that the greatest investment you can ever make is in you. So whether you're like, I've decided I want to be a world-renowned spiritual leader, I want to be a spiritual coach, or I want to be somebody that's healed from my trauma, or maybe you do want to invest in real estate, that's fine too. But what I know for sure is that if all the things are taken away, what do you have? And that is where you should put your time and energy and money. You can't take this body with you. You can't take your bank account. You can't take the things. So what you can take is you can take the experience, you can take the love, you can take the consciousness. And so that is, my friend, the greatest investment you will ever make. That is the greatest return on investment ever. And so if I were to say to somebody, oh, should I save money or should I, you know, the people go, I can't afford, you know, this coaching program or whatever. It's like, well, you can't afford to not take this coaching program. You can't afford to not take this conscious. You cannot you cannot afford to invest in your consciousness because it is the actual lack that is holding you back. It is the limited beliefs. It is not knowing the truth of who you are. You can't afford to not do your trauma work. You can't afford to not have extraordinary people around you. You can't afford it. So what I know for sure is if there's a will, there's a way. So I'm calling forth and you know, I never sell on my podcast, if you will. I don't even sell any, we don't even do hard sales in society. It's like we present, we bring value. And then people are like, how do I get involved? And I like have to do this. People just know they've been, they've been asking for our community. They've been praying for our community. They're like, I've been waiting for this. I can't believe you actually exist. Right. I can't believe I found the teachings of metaphysics. I've been doing spiritual work for 20 years and I never knew there was this exact lineage. I've taken every Reiki, everything, all the community, everything. And they come to science of mind and, and metaphysical principles. And they're like, oh my gosh, this makes it all even make more sense. So what I know for sure is that if you've had a spiritual calling and if you really truly want to advance your consciousness and if you're really ready for a money breakthrough, I'm going to invite you to join society. I'm going to invite you to take action right now to come over and either DM me on social media or whatever, come and say, I'm ready. I, I want to learn more. I've got to figure this out. Okay. This is your life. This is your life and your investment is in yourself. My son came to me and he said, mom, after all we've been through, what is the number one advice you'd give people for investing? I said, I'd invest in myself for anybody. I say the best investment you can make best thing is to build your own, your own brand, your own company, your own investment, your own consciousness, your own, because no one can take away. If you, if you, if it doesn't go well, then fine, you can, you know, go, I blame it on myself, but you know, investing in other things, if you're going to invest in something, whether it be Bitcoin or there can be anything, you've got to invest in something that you know, otherwise it's called gambling. Most of my friends that invest in Bitcoin are gambling. They don't know it, they don't understand it, and they don't have control over it, right? So asking yourself, where do you want to put your time? Where do you want to put your effort? Some people go to college, they spend, you know, whatever, they have 50 grand in, in debt in, in college loans. What's the difference between that or, or having a badass coach that teach, teaches you how to, how to become a Jedi? right? Like, let's get real, you guys. Like, let's get really, really real. What do you get out of it when you get a, a bachelor's degree in college? You don't get crap. You know what I mean? You get a, a probably a, an okay education, a bunch of things that aren't actually going to get you anything, right? It's not unless you're becoming a lawyer, becoming a doctor, becoming something that's applicable in the actual license that you need. And so we have to ask ourselves, there's doctors that go out that literally uh, spend what, eight years in college and 
I think the average doctor makes like 150,000 or something like that. Like think about the hundreds that they probably spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe on their education, maybe less than that. They spent years and years and years and they're capped out at something, right? As spiritual coaches, you are, there's no, there's no limit. You can keep going as, as far as you can innovate is as far as you can go in your, in your, in your prosperity, in your income, right? So again, we recognize that a majority of the coaches out there, spiritual coaches will make under $10,000 because the top 1% of coaches get coaches. The top 1% of coaches hang out and collaborate with top 1% coaches. And if you want to get there, you got to get your ass into the community. You got to get into investing in yourself. That is just part of it. So whether this is your first time listening to this podcast or not, I'm glad you're hearing this because I don't ever pitch on, on the podcast. I don't ever preach like this about signing up, but today I'm going to, I'm going to tell you that I can guarantee that we have one of the best programs on the planet for spiritual breakthroughs, for transforming your trauma, for really becoming the Jedi of your life. We also have the most trusted and proven marketing and sales, um, training because it's not something I developed in that I use what has been trained, what I've paid tens of thousands of dollars for to understand and putting it into practice. And doesn't matter if you're just beginning or if you're a seven figure coach, it's the same system you use. Okay. So today I just celebrate. We just went through 12 series of money breakthrough. And in this, I recognize who you are and the truth of your birthright of prosperity. I know that you deserve all of the riches of this life. You deserve to have the most amazing badass consciousness. You deserve to be around rich, opulent friends that are up to extraordinary things. You deserve every last drop of it. And the only thing that's going to stop you from having that is you. So the greatest investment you can ever make is in you, your consciousness, your mindset, your skill set. And so I just say, yes, I say yes. I say yes. Hallelujah, freaking Luya, you guys, to prosperity, abundance, and money breakthrough. Have a beautiful day. And if you've enjoyed this series, please share it with some friends so you can have all of your friends rise up together in prosperity and vitality and love. Have a beautiful day and may you live your truth. Thank you for tuning in Society and Dr. Aaron Podcast. If you've had a calling to be a spiritual leader or coach, you can go to society.com and check out our free training. If you've received value here, I would love it if you take a moment and give a five-star review. In exchange, I have a ton of free gifts for you. Grab your free awakening book, 40 guided meditations, and digital manifesting masterclass. I also have a free money meditation and worksheet for you so you can begin to break through your scarcity mindset and claim your birthright of prosperity. You can get all of your gifts and learn about our upcoming transformational events in my bio link in both Instagram and Facebook. That's under drerin.tv, which is D-R-E-R-I-N.tv. Also, I'd love to invite you into our free private community on Facebook under groups called Soul Society. That is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Soul Society. That's S-O-U-L-C-I-E-T-E. Have a divine day and may you live your truth.